Hello everyone, how's it going? It's me, Jaylene, also known as Femforth. I have a tall glass of topic here for you today. <sighs> Let's talk about golden showers. Bada boom choo. <laughs> In this video, we're going to discuss three things. First, what is it? Secondly, why do people enjoy golden showers? And thirdly, how to do golden showers like a pro. First off, what is it? Golden showers in king terms refers to the act of someone peeing on another person. This can be done either by peeing on their body, peeing in their mouths, or peeing in other orifices if you're feeling really kinky. Number two, why do people like it? I'm being both a giver and a receiver of golden showers, the lucky switch that I am. I have noticed that there is a multitude of reasons why people may possibly enjoy this kink. In a primal sense, there's the aspect that people who are peeing on the other person are marking their territory, like puppies do. In a humiliation sense, we may see that the receiver of the golden showers is seen as a human toilet, i.e. being objectified as a piece of dirty furniture. For a specific turn on you have about golden showers, the main underlying theme here is that there is a dominance and submission sort of role, or a top and bottom role, where the person who is getting peed on is a submissive or the bottom, and the person peeing on the person is the top, i.e. the dominant. One thing I'd like to clarify here is that golden showers is basically an act, not completely a total entity of what pee fetishism is, which is what I will explain in my bonus videos below. Last but not least, number three, how to do it like a pro. Due to my experience as a pro dom, I wanted to share four tips and tricks here for you if you're trying out golden showers for the first time. Number one, Prep yourself with H2O. Your body's trying to rid any of your bodily waste through urine itself. So especially if you're gonna get your partner to drink the pee itself, I highly suggest making sure you drink enough water until your pee is clear and not yellow so it'd be less bacteria and harsher on their digestive system. Number two, <laughs> avoid using the first morning pee. Building up all overnight, the first pee in the morning is quite full of waste, which actually can make it quite smelly. Flush yourself first before playing. Number three, use a funnel. <laughs> if you have a vagina like me, aiming is kind of difficult. What I suggest is basically have your sub or i.e. the receiver cut open a water bottle and make that sort of a funnel for them to hold in their mouths while you go. Number four, pee shyness. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm literally the worst for this. So some things that can help are do it in the shower while the water is running, drink a glass of water whilst attempting to pee, and lastly, run a tap of warm water underneath your hand while you're doing it. There you go, all you need to know about golden showers. And if you're curious about coaching with me one-on-one, -on -one, be sure to head to my website below. Be sure to follow my Instagram and Facebook links below where I will talk about the difference between a pee fetish and golden showers. And if you liked this video, I want you to like the video and subscribe to help the Femforth community grow. Thanks for watching everyone. It's me, Jaylene Femforth. Mwah.